Hey guys, welcome back to Vino Sester Marcos channel. Today we're going to review a game called Trifacta. So the first thing I'm going to do is open it up, show you around, and then we'll get playing. So the first thing that really caught my eye was this is about fact families. And in a fact family, many teachers present it as a triangle because you have your big number and then the two addition facts on top and then they could see how the subtraction works. So the fact that they shaped the box according to the fact family was just like, whoa. For me, that was like, you can't get any better than that. So totally like that part. Um, so let's actually go through it. It's in the box. Another thing I like in opening the box is, I just want to point out, everything has its own place. And that's another detail I like, especially with kids. You know, you put it back and things aren't floating all around. Um, you have the board. And the board is, it's a nice triangle. You see, so the fact families are exactly the way I would, as a teacher, be teaching it. And it works well. So we place the actual board in the center of the table. Next, every student gets a um, a card holder. And that's another nice feature is that the cards aren't flying all over the place. And the last thing included, oops, run away, you know, card holder. Um, the last thing we have included are the actual number tiles. Now, we, again, I want it more for the learning. There are a few ways to play, but this is the way we play it, and I'll tell you why. I want to spark that motivation. So every child, every time they place a number, start. we do based on a point system. Because again, it's like fact family, it's math, it's not fun. But if, I, and it's a, pick a number. So if you have a shorter time, let's say you pick to 20 points, if you have a longer time to 50 points. If you have more students, you know, pick a number. And then every, Every time you place a number down, you start off with automatically three points. So anytime I change something up here, I get three points. Now, if I use one card from here, whether it's here, here, or here, then I get a bonus fourth point. So the kids are always motivated to do more. So we start off like this. We just randomly, I'll turn over a card. Oh, I'll take out the wild for now. So I got a 17. And obviously, it's not a fact family. In the beginning, it's kind of just like we're flipping over cards. Not really exciting. And I have a 1. So I know 17 plus 1 is 18. Not enough to score. We have a 6. So I know, again, can't make a fact family. I have an 8. Nope. I have a 10. Okay. This is a really exciting game right now. <laughs> uh-huh. <coughs> No, this is a nine. Oh, so here's the fact family. So again, if I put them all down, I get my three points. So here's how you put it down. It's really important. I have, oops, a 10 over here. I have a nine. And then I place the one. So it'd be something like this. Nine, and by the way, it's super important that the kids review their facts. Nine plus one is 10. One plus nine is 10. 10 minus one is nine. 10 minus 9 is 10. So then based on this, the child will get 3 points because we scored 3. And then we'd go back and I'm just pointing out it's more exciting if you have another player. So it's not just you. But now I can use the numbers 9, 1, and 10. I put, oh, put down a 9 again. So let's say I can actually do the turnaround fact. It happens to work out. I got a 9 and I got a 1. So in this case, which lucky me that this worked out... I would get the three points for making my fact family plus a bonus point because I kept one down. So more points, which brings me to another fact. Um, normally I would have a whiteboard and a marker and we'd actually be writing the numbers. So not only are we practicing fact families, I would pick a student to keep tally or have everyone else keep track. So you could work on one of two skills by keeping track of the score. Number one, you can use a tally mark system and each student is learning tally marks or for students who, let's say, are working on bigger numbers, then actually have an addition um, visual there <coughs> and they're learning addition as you go along. 
So how cool is that? And let's again, keep flipping over numbers and, uh, oh, so here would be another one. Oops, I got another fact family and that would be, oh, eight, uh, six and two. Now this is all fine <coughs> and the learning is just amazing. Um, but like I said, whenever I pick a game, I'd like to increase the learning and make it to the next level. So how would I make it kind of more difficult is that let's say, for example, the student would by mistake put it like this and they would say eight plus, uh, sorry, six plus two is eight and they would tell it to me correctly. And I'd be like, you know what? One second. Let me look at it. And I'd be like, ooh, I see two here. Two minus six is, hmm, I can't do that. And so they would actually lose a point for putting it in wrong. So this comes like later on, you know, just as the kids kind of get more advanced in it. So my overall opinion in Trifacta is this is a great game. And the rating system is like this. Number one is we love it. It's a great, it really enhances our education. Number two, watch the review and you be the judge. And number three is stay away from this game. And I would actually rate this a number one game because this game teaches fact families. It is super interactive and it gives every single student a chance to build their fact family. And I do it a little bit differently. I know if you if you read the instructions, they actually show you how many numbers to place on the board. And that's fine because that is, um, I think it's like six or seven. And, and that's great. And I think it's important for more advanced students. But I like to put it in slowly. And I'll tell you why. You have a student who's new to fat family. So you put down a five. So they're only looking at the five. And it's simple. I have a five. Then you put down another five. So, we, oh, five plus five is 10. So now they could visually, it's not overwhelming. I'm looking at my two numbers and I see, well, I don't have the other family. And let's say I put down a 12. So I'd be like, well, now take this new number and in this case, match it up with each number and see if you have your family. Well, five, sorry, 12 plus five is 17. And no, I don't have that. And well, now look at the board. Let's, let's look at the playing board. Do we have those numbers? And Hmm, I don't have it. So this game is a game that I can, first of all, it's a great game. I can customize it. The box is great. It's fun. It's super interactive. It's forever changing. And like I mentioned, I can customize it by having my students make tally marks for score. I can customize it um, by having them kind of do the addition. And I can also, here's one last way we play is that we try to fill up each and every one of these triangles. So that's, it's a really fun game. And this one takes a super long time to fill up the triangles, but I get to sit down and I get to see my students and I say, you know what? This is what you need today. And this is fun. Just one tip, these just, so you should be aware. Um, these are made out of, I don't know if you could see, but these are super, super, super thin they're kind of like paper. These are paper. So either a, um, if you have children that like tend to mouth pieces, I'd probably stay away from this game or, um, I mean, they're triangles, just take the measurement and cut it out of paper and make your own. But I guess that'll be the only thing that I don't like so much about this game. But overall, this is a great game. You know, fact families are super, super important. Here's just the cover so you guys can see it. I'm going to leave a link below and just check it out. See if this is a game that you like. And on the Amazon page, there's some more resources and information about this game. And if you like it, well, let me know what you think. And don't forget to like this video and thumbs up it because that's how I know um, if you like this video, if you have it and... You know, we plan on adding more games, and I, I hope you guys will join our journey through game schooling and beyond. Happy playing.